What's up guys, it's Boy Rashad back again with another video. We are 10 episodes deep into season 4 now for My Hero Academia. This is my reaction to My Hero Academia season 4, episode 10. We had another character development heavy Kirishima episode last week. We saw Skinny Gum, who is OP as fuck. That was a great episode, which I really, really enjoyed. Now, hopefully we get to see what Deku, Rock Lock, Sir Night Eye, and the rest of the heroes are up to and face off against the last, I think, four members? The last four members of the eight bullets of the Hisaikai. So, I am ready. We are locked in. Let's get straight into the reaction. I hate to say it, but I think this is the end for the Hisaikai. Whoa. As long as the boss and I live, the Hasai guy will too. Most of the men remain loyal to him, but don't understand my way of thinking. Even though I respect the bosses no more than any of them do. Okay. As long as we have the finished product and the serum, I can bring us back from the brink of extinction. So they knew they was going to be defeated here. story for potential investors. We've developed a drug that heroes are afraid of. Exactly the sort of thing you're after. They'll finance it happily. And on that note, he's got caught. It's time to pull your weight, Temps. Oh, there, Temp Squad. How many you brought a friend? Didn't see that coming. Well, I've seen you fight before. At the sports festival, he had real spunk. Tomaki never does well there because he ends up lost in his own head. <laughs> I did my internship with Fourth Kind, and he seemed to like my attitude too. I want to be more than that. I want to be a hero who protects people with the strength of his spirit. Well done. Crimson Riot. That's why I bugged Tamaki to leave me to introduce me to you. I once failed people in trouble because I was scared. They told him. Never again. If he dies, what? Damn. There's a back room where we can go and get ourselves patched up. Bring that kid. Bring that man with you. Oh, respect. You're never more powerful than when your life was at stake. That's why the best fight is a death match between equals. You he, guys were yeah. awesome, especially the redhead. I really like your style. <laughs> oh, that's sick. You better heal up, because I'll kill you for sure next time. Don't you get it? You're going to be arrested and put in jail for this. He doesn't mind. There is no next time. You and your friend are done. It's over. Who cares? Nobody died, so it's a draw. That's not how it works. This isn't a fight in some ring. <laughs> He does not give a fuck. What's worried me is that everyone's getting damaged a lot in these little fights before they've even got to overhaul. I called him a kid, but I was wrong. He's a man. Yep. He's a man. We did it. You've proven what you're capable of, not only to me, but more importantly, to the enemy. Yep. Out of nowhere saying I should join his gang. Got real pushy about it too. I told him he could fight me for it. Yeah, he killed him. The second I was dead. The next I was back to normal. He can bring you back like that. I challenged him five more times and lost every single match. That's why I'm here. Because I still haven't beaten him yet. He lost five times? Fuck off, do something. Stop giving orders. This is all your fault. What? What mess? Let's see what Squirk is. Oh, she has to keep touching different parts of it? That's kind of shit. I'm still not liking Rock Lock, guys. I hope he does something better than this. He seems like an asshole. He doesn't even know about those two. Ooh, let's go. Don't you think they're planning 
Wait, what? <laughs> yep, separation. Stay alert. Prepare for anything. Yeah, yeah, we heard you. I hope Toga kills him for now. Yep, see, there you go. Oh, nice. It's a clone? He might not be dead, but he got fucked up, and that's his own goddamn fault. Hey, this imposter clone just appeared out of nowhere and attacked me. Be careful. I bet there are more enemies nearby. That's the real one. Are you okay? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, she naked again. <laughs> Come on, they can pull it together. Oh no, he's wrapping up her body. What? Oh, he's got blade too. She's quick. He just realized this. Let's fight! Get a big bro rapper! How's he got his strength back? Oh nice! Night night! He's ripped already? Where'd he get his strength from? What? A humorous accessory for my stiff persona. I made a prediction and acted accordingly. I brought him to meet with you. I may be a villain, but I'm human too. We all are, man. Come on, Toga. Don't you agree with me? The question I've got for you, Tamara, is what we need to you. To me, the League is a place where I feel at home. Oh, this is a family to them. Get him under control, Shigaraki. Wow. Crushing kill me. And then it's over. <laughs> so first of all, yeah, uh, an enjoyable episode. Not much happened this time, but we've just had two action heavy episodes with Amajiki and Kirishima. So I wasn't expecting this one to be at the same level. So it's fine, it's fine. I did enjoy the episode. Um, I know that Overhaul's organization, the Saikai, is on the brink of extinction, but he doesn't really mind because the drugs that they've now perfected will bring them in money so they can start up again whenever they want to, which is a scary thought. Rock Clock did about as well as I thought he would. He has not impressed me again, so I'm sorry for everyone who does enjoy the character, but he hasn't impressed me so far. His comments are starting to really annoy me, to be honest, and I don't really understand what his problem is. It seems overconfident and arrogant to me. But that was my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 10, Temp Squad. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this episode, what you liked, what you didn't like. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this reaction video. It really, 
really helps out the channel guys turn post notifications on subscribe if you're new to my channel and as usual i'll see you guys in the next one peace taylor about the fucking flex